Hosea the prophet. Once Hosea the prophet planned to leave his house and travel to a distant city. Thus he took his donkey to ride and some food and water with him to quench his thirst and satisfy his hunger. So he started his journey. On his way he reached a village which had been destroyed. Being attracted by the scene, he stopped and began to ponder about the village. Finally, through examining what he had seen carefully, he understood how its inhabitants were killed and the city was destroyed. While he was looking at the village, he happened to see some decayed bones which were on the ground, and as he was thinking, he said to himself, Ozair, strange, how many years have passed since the owners of these bones died? How will God then be able to revive them after this much time? Ozair said this and went away to find some shade to sleep in. All the while he was sleeping, the Almighty put him to death. After the passage of one hundred years, God resurrected the sleeping Ozair. As his death had occurred in the morning and his awakening in the afternoon, he said, I think I've been sleeping a whole day, or maybe a part of the day. But God, to Ozer's great surprise, informed him that he had slept for a hundred years. Then God, in order to make him sure and prove the truthfulness of this event to him, asked him to look at the drink and food he had taken with him, which were still unchanged, and compare them with the decayed bones of his donkey as a good evidence. Suddenly, through God's will, the donkey's bones joined together and were gradually covered with flesh and slain. Finally, his donkey was alive again and started to walk. Having observed the unbelievable resurrection of a donkey happening through God's will, Ozair referred to his own heart, kept his faith stronger in the Almighty's knowledge and power, and addressed God like this. My God, you have always been benevolent to me and treated me kindly. and never neglected guiding me. Now I'm quite sure that the faith I had in your knowledge, power and kindness somewhere deep in my heart had not been originated from my ignorance, but it was itself the knowledge deserving trust and devotion. <laughs>